All right, so we just picked up Wildfire. First time we put it on the lift. We're uh, about to dive into it. This bike hasn't ran since 2002, I believe, or that's what we heard. Um, the gas smells awful. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is drain the tank. We have a different carb that we're gonna put on it because this one's just chilling here. So we have, a, we have one that we know runs, so we're gonna change that out, hopefully. Inspect the magneto to see if there's anything that we need to do there. Pump up the tires, bleed the brakes. Anything else? Change oil. Change oil. Plugs. Check the plugs. So that's kind of uh, some of the things that we're going to check, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's okay. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It's a milk crate. What's that? Toolkit. That's a milk jug. Right yeah, that thing, that thing's nice. Big boy. Okay, so we're looking through the toolkit and what was all packed in this here uh, milk crate. He's got normal tools in case your chain, chain breaks. We got some master links. Oh, cool. Smart. Electro wire, electrical tape, feeler gauges. It's a good nice. toolkit. Matt. Quick tip for knowing if it's original oil tank or not. The original ones, this bracket here, is super, super thin. As compared to the aftermarket ones, it's, it's much thicker. And typically, they're always broken. But this one's still all intact, which is pretty cool. What we know about the bike is it's an early knucklehead frame. Again, uh, this type of mount here. And this the lugs. Yeah, you can tell by these lugs. Everything's brazed in. There's no large you get big lugs or anything like that. Um, if you look in here, you can see where the knuckle frame is notched for the... Oh yeah. I'm gonna build right here, you can see it on the side here. I'll just cut out for it. You see how tight it fits? Yeah. And then the shot right here. It's way tighter than a, like a pan. So knucklehead frame, this bar, this top bar is, is much lower. Mm. Knucklehead mm. engine overall is, is shorter. But I mean, everything's still intact here. All the axle plates are in incredible shape. Same thing here. Straight all the way through. These frames are always straight leg. They've never been wishbone like an early pan head frame would be. Early pan head frame splits like this, mm -hmm. kind of like S bends down, where all knucklehead frames are straight V. But so are later pan head rigid frames, so it gets a little confusing. Um, still, sidecar loops are intact. This. Yeah, and another way you can tell it's an early yeah, frame yeah. is the rake. So, do you remember what the rake is? 27? 29, maybe? 29. I yeah. can't remember. Somebody's going to correct us on that, but it depends a, what year. Yeah. The bottom end of the engine is a 65. The top end is a 66. That's really pretty cool because it's the last year pan head bottom end, but the first year shovel head top end. So kind of cool that they did last year pan, first year shovel. If you look over on this side, Gino, Gino built it. So uh, apparently that was a popular shop or that was a popular builder in the 60s and 70s in Philadelphia. So if anybody knows anything, we'd love to know more history about it. Uh, this is actually the second bike that we've had out of that shop. The first one was uh, that green and yellow Survivor Chopper. So uh, if anybody knows anything, please let us know. We'd love to know more history from Gino. You're gonna to wanna to watch Anson's eye. Just make sure you click the link and subscribe. There you go. There you <laughs> go. He gets it. What? It's like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Gina would be proud. What's going on here? What do you want, Smokey? What are you trying to get? I see what you're after. How many quarts will this thing take? Three, hopefully. Two and a half, three. What all our help, though? Look, it's hard to find good help. <laughs> Matt, what's the proper way to pour oil? This way? Nope, the other way. There you go. This is the highest point. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it. Cut the top of this off. You can drain all your transmission fluid into it. And it fits right under. Cut it over here. It fits right under the frame. Unless you have an oil pan that's thin. Probably something we should invest in. Yeah, or that. There we go. Just like that. There you go. 
Got an oil pan. That's, uh, that's, that's, okay. that's water. Let's get a line on that. With a fine amount of oil. 50 bucks, whoever chugs that. No? Uh, Johnny might. Put another 50 on top, Jake. Alright, how much is it gonna take? 100 bucks? <laughs> the fine drink. Chug the whole thing. Oh, gosh. May, Johnny? Maybe dip a oh, tongue in. Did you do it for 100 bucks? 100 bucks? What is that, what? Oil and water? water? It's kind of. Maybe you die. No. Nah. You might die. No, I just cleaned you out. It's <laughs> got some floaters in there for you. Wait, 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 wait. Now, you, now there you go. <laughs> Come on, Johnny, take a sip. <laughs> Get a, give it a whiff, Matt. Take a big old whiff. No test smell. Just go for it. Ew. What's wrong with you? Anybody need a COVID test? Right here. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to say because that bucket's already dirty, but I don't like getting this on the tank. Just try to oh, chunky. Ew. I'll give you a thousand for that. <laughs> that one you'd be dead. Hey, uh, do we, Mitch? Can you grab those long tweezers that we have? I think that's just dried gas. It's rust. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Money back. Milkshake. That's me after Chipotle. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> this is why we weren't getting any flow through the petcock. Check out the filter. Pretty gross. Whoa. So now we gotta get all that out of the tank. Gah. <laughs> oh man! Oh boy! Jeez, John! Oh, you smoked yourself out! <laughs> you can't even no, take it. Oh, How's the tank looking? Yeah. Runnable? Oh, do we have any gas? We run into this every time we work on a bike. <laughs> do we have gas? When you're ready, go. Alright, well, let's go back together. Yeah, I know. I don't have a replacement gasket. Get out of here. We're going, no, no replacement gasket. Yeah, we're going, we're going gasketless. Yeah, there's no rain here. No snow. Yeah, this, it doesn't even feel like it's seeding in there good. It's just too dry rot. Crusty. Man, we could change those plug wires. They look like they could be it. <laughs> Johnny said they look suspiciously crispy. Where is the gas <laughs> Crispy is an understatement with those wires right now. They're stiffy stiff. You strap that thing to your bike. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I can put it on my Gear lap. strap it. Oh yeah, gear, I got a gear strap on my bike. You got a torch? You got a backpack? Strap it to your back. Now when you need that long sissy bar, Johnny. I, know. I would just go uh, half, yeah, two and a half gallons. Or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is better actually. I mean, it'll work. Fuel belt? Fuel belt. This is actually, this will be smarter, I think. We don't have like a small. <laughs> long <gasket. laughs> I mean, whatever. Hey, it's worth the ask before you leave. <laughs> He decides just wants to, to bring ride. a gas drag on his motorcycle. We got it! <laughs> There's a ton of donks at the gas station. It was sick. There was like photos? six of them. I got yeah, I got photos yes. of them. Yes! One that one that was bubblegum themed. <laughs> That's amazing. Bada boom. Bada bing, baby. Appreciate ya. Go get him. It's not great, but it's not bad. Mm.
needs a, we need a little bit more cleaning. Yeah. We're getting there. There's no chunks. Is there a bunch of chunks left? Yeah. I feel like they're just gonna loosen up as soon as we put gas in it. Go air blow that and see what happens. Too many chunks fly off. Let's see what happens. Yep. Uh, other side. That ain't bad. I was expecting some to come out. Look how cool that molding is. Wildfire. Do we clean that or do we just throw it on? Throw it on. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Let's watch it. Oh. You can oh, see the gas fill it up now. That's what so she said. Alright, this is it. Smokey, come here. We need to clean that one. She's wet and closed. Hi. Bye. Uh. Uh. All, right. All right. Check spark maybe first. both running periodically which is weird but that was I mean it was sparking it was burning before it was even getting that's what was weird it was burning before it was getting into the cylinders yeah. bypass the gas tank completely make sure it's not bad gas that we're getting so gas straight to the water bottle straight to the car see what happens no leaks you want to just go straight let's go get that sucker out Oh yeah, I have to go up first. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, no. <laughs> Yard sale! What'd you do there? Jeez, Mitch! Mitch. Stick the sucker in the hole! Mitch is a square. <laughs> I'm covered now. Oh god. Okay, let's just put this thing on. <laughs> okay, now I need gas. Alright, ready? <laughs>
Look at that. That's oh boy. Yeah. A little loose. That's oh, it's issue. hydraulic. Yeah, that's the issue right there. All right, hold on. Look at that. You can almost pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. You're lucky it didn't come, come loose. It's break on. Oh, it is out. Yeah. You're lucky it didn't pop off. And, and well, we can try to adjust it out. Oh, she was loose as can be. That actually might work in our favor. Look at this. I didn't touch any of this. Ah. Oh my gosh, I need a band-aid. It would be nice to have something to hold these up. What do you want? Your fingers. There's blood all over there. I'm going to get AIDS. Why would we put our products in our videos? Why would we do it? Did you, you don't know how to use it? Stick it right through the fins? Yeah. I know how to use it. We came up with it. Now this one's going to be used. <laughs> <laughs> now this tool is going to be used. Shelfware. So that's how the push rod tool works. Part of it. <clears throat> Alright, put the car back where it was. I did. I just did. Oh! What's going on here? Overflow. Bowl stuff. Tap it. Where's that hammer? Ow! Stop! Quick. Dirt. Dirt in there? Quick. <laughs> Quickly. Is that bad? No, I fired it up. Let's turn it off. Let it open up. open that right. up and touch the float. You know what I'm saying? Drain that out. Give it a float attempt. Be sure nice to have a fast eddy drain cock. Watch out. Yeah, fast eddy, you get sponsor us? <laughs> careful, careful. Sponsor us fast eddy. There's a lot of junk in that. Oh. Okay, now get a screwdriver. Right under Jack's right foot. Something small and just get that. You're leaking from here. You might need a short guy. Someone want to take that from me? I'm surprised the bottles lasted so long. Keep on going. Oh, that's good. Where's your capper at? Run that sucker. Yeah. Hold it till he gets the cap. Alrighty. How's everybody feeling about this one? Uh, I think, uh, I think, I think the push rod's really good issue. Oh, you're pouring fuel. were super loose for whatever reason so we adjusted those hopefully the hydraulics are still good there um, but we'll find out here shortly so hopefully everything's good now we can start it ride it and go from there see what happens